Hello, this is Cynthia on Embracing His Word. So this is uh, video number five. I am continuing to teach about how to break these ungodly soul ties that when you've been in a toxic relationship and you just don't understand how uh, to break the ungodly soul tie, you keep going back to this individual uh, and just don't understand the, di the spiritual dynamics of the relationship. So I'm continuing to teach how to break ungodly soul ties. In this particular video, I will be talking to you about uh, spiritual strongholds. And so is, this is one of the very important steps in breaking ungodly soul ties is pulling down uh, demonic strongholds. You know, um, the definition of a stronghold is an area of darkness within the mind or the personality of the person that causes ongoing spiritual, emotional, and our behavior problems. Uh, we can be genuinely born again and sincere in our faith, but have an ongoing struggle with the thoughts the emotions and habits that wage war against our relationship with Christ. We pray, we study, and we attempt to discipline ourselves, but often find our problem is resistant to real change. And so we uh, oftentimes we really have to experience God's healing power when a stronghold has gained uh, its presence in our mindset. So today, let's talk about how to break these demonic strongholds. The scripture in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 10, verses 4 through 5, it says, For the weapons of our warfare, it is not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now, I can testify that, that it is not a... Uh, uh, impossible to pull down these demonic strongholds uh, because uh, there was a period of time when um, I had this emotional soul tie with someone and I, I began to ask the Lord how can I break this emotional soul tie and God began to just place it in my heart because a lot, a lot of times we think oh I just I want the easy way out I just want God to wave his hand and I'm set free from it but God want us to learn a lesson what did I say? God want us to learn a lesson that we shouldn't do it again, that we should not go against his ways and his precepts. The scripture said that we are to take our thoughts captive and bring them into obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ. So if we've gotten ourselves into an ungodly relationship and we find that we need to sever and break that relationship, you also want to pull down these demonic strongholds. And so I was talking about how um, God had began to speak to my heart about uh, pulling down uh, some strongholds that I had allowed in my mindset. And he simply said that I need to take my thoughts captive, bring them into obedience. And so that is a process, learning how to take your thoughts captive. We can't be passive. We cannot be indifferent, but we have to take our thoughts captive. Be proactive. Get into the word. Renew your mind to the word. What is it that you're really experiencing? What particular stronghold are you experiencing? You want to get the scripture in reference to that and begin to meditate upon the word. Begin to repent. Begin to really surrender your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ and take captive your thoughts, binding those um, demonic thoughts that are trying to enter and settle into your mindset. So you must be proactive, number one, uh, concerning these strongholds. A stronghold is a lie which we have allowed to distort or confuse our thinking. A lie can gain a foothold within our mind and emotions and then our behavior. So if we allow a lie to reside within, then that lie, like a seed, will produce its fruit, which will distort the way we see and think. And you know, the enemy wants you to think according to his ways. So if he can get you to think, you know, oh, I can't do without this relationship. Oh, I have to have this person in my life. 
that is a lie. And so you have to recognize the lies of the enemy and you have to reject the lies of the enemy. We can't come in an agreement with the enemy because we cannot pull down strongholds being in agreement with the enemy. So fall out of love with the ungodly soul tie, the ungodly relationship. And then you can begin to renew your mind with the word and the ways and the precepts of God. So the fruit of an inward life will ultimately affect our faith and interfere with our ability to possess the truths of the gospel. The scriptures tells us the devil is the father of lies. So we know that every lie is in some way rooted in spiritual darkness. Because every lie is rooted in darkness, the fruit of every lie will eventually reflect the nature of darkness. Truth overcomes every lie. You know, the word of God helps us to overcome every lie. The scripture says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. That is why I say we cannot be passive about this. But we take authority over the works of the enemy that try to uh, control our thought life. So we take authority over it and put on the full armor of God. Our battle is with the prince of darkness, for example, the devil. It is a battle with lies and our victory is truth. Our fleshly nature willingly opens the door to darkness for it finds its message pleasant. The word of God brings a message of death to self and new life in Christ. So lies, they also seek to control. These lies then seek a place of control and domination in our personality. So they want to control our emotions, ambitions, motivations, priorities, and over our desires. So when you know these things are going on in your personality, just, just recognize it's the work of the devil. And you need to declare to the devil, no devil, you will not dominate, you will not control, you will not influence my mindset. My mind is for the living God. My soul belongs to the Lord. I don't belong to you. So you make a, make a declaration to the devil, not only make a declaration, but you take your thoughts captive. Bring them into obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ. Every Christian's heart and mind is the focus and target of lies. So don't think the enemy is not going to target you. He will target your mind because the uh, the devil, he, he loves to target the mindset. That is the battleground. So once the lines of darkness have found a secure place within our personality, then like planted, watered, and fertilized seed, they will begin to produce fruit. But the fruit of lies is rotten. It will affect our values, our thinking processes, our behavior, and our relationship with the Lord. So our battle with evil is not theoretical, but it is real. The battle is inward. It is intellectually, it is spiritually, emotionally, it is intense, and it is relentless. But you know the good news is that we are victorious in Christ. you got to want to be victorious in Christ. You, you need to make that decision today, this very moment, that I choose God, I choose his ways, I choose his precepts, and I will walk in obedience to the Lord because I love the Lord. Darkness must be confronted with the word of God. But when we confront darkness with the word, we are confronting darkness with the power of God and darkness must obey. So um, you have to be aware of pulling down strongholds. That's why the scripture says um, that uh, we are to present our bodies to God as a living sacrifice. Uh, that should be our reasonable service, presenting our bodies to God as a living sacrifice, to be holy and acceptable unto the Lord, and choosing not to be conformed to the ways of this world, but being transformed by the renewing of our minds. So how we transform our minds? By getting into the Word, meditating in the Word, asking Holy Spirit, how can I apply this Word to my life? How can I be victorious in this area of my life, gaining that intimate 
relationship with the Lord, coming close to God and choosing to be obedient, choosing to apply the principles and precepts of God's word. So that is point number five, pulling down strongholds and choosing to re renew your mindset. And so point number six is about deliverance. So if you feel that you really need to uh, experience God's deliverance power in your life, you need to um, allow someone that is well experienced in the area of, of healing and deliverance minister to you. If you have already um, experienced healing and deliverance um, by a, a minister that is of a good reputation and you feel that you have gained much ground in your life through deliverance, you can also put into practice uh, self-deliverance. And so self-deliverance is very important, a very important part of the Christian's life. We can practice self-deliverance. And so there are many resources um, on prayers and declarations in order for us to, to um uh, to get started with, you may want to use um, some of these resources, but eventually you will learn how to do your own prayers and to really connect with Lord and it's, uh, put into practice uh, self-deliverance. And point number seven is remove, get rid of items. These are some practical things that you need to do. Get rid of items uh, that's been given to you, uh, gifts. Uh, anything that is a reminder of your relationship with that person that you're, you've had ungodly soul ties with, block your connection uh, through social media. Any love letters that you have from this individual, you want to go ahead and get rid of those love letters. You can burn them. Uh, any clothing items that, that was purchased for you, any gift items, you want to get rid of those things. You don't want to keep those things around because definitely the enemy can use those items as a, a ungodly demonic soul time. So every time you look at the item, you're reminded of that relationship that you have with that individual. And so that could potentially open the door for you to get in touch with that person or stay connected with that person. So you want to get rid of of these particular things. Some other practical things uh, that you need to get rid of stuff, animals, uh, you need to block um, his phone number, his or her phone number, uh, stay off social media, do not go on social media trying to check to see what that individual is doing. It's best for you to just uh, let it go completely. Don't uh, go on social media trying to find out what that person is doing. Another thing that you should not do, do not attempt to try to stay uh, connected with that person. Don't uh, give an opportunity for your mind to be manipulated with uh, gifts, flowers, invitation for a date, tears, you know, because when you connect with that person, you never know what type of ma manipulation that person may try to use over your uh, mindset. So you want to be aware of those things. So these are some of the practical things that you can do. And so I want you to uh, listen to my next video. It will be in reference to a prayer, breaking soul ties. And so I definitely want to pray for everyone that has been listening to these uh, videos. Be sure to share the videos. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also make comments on the videos. Uh, if you're on my YouTube channel, please uh, subscribe and make comments. This will help my channel to grow. Also, I want you to share it. Um, if you're on my Facebook, make sure you follow my Facebook so that you can get the new videos that come in. Um, and also like the uh, Facebook page. So be blessed and have a glorious day.